believe I have uh, Somdev Devarman joining me from Chennai. Somdev Devarman is uh, former India number one, the only Indian to win the, the tennis gold at the Asian Games in singles as well as the Commonwealth Games. Uh, Somdev, you've actually been on the other side and uh, played Roger Federer. What a moment this is. I think the hashtag on Twitter is GOAT, the greatest of all time. Yeah, I think there's absolutely no question about it. I mean, Roger Federer, if not before, is now solidifying his position as greatest of all time. There's no question about that. I think he's been playing fantastic tennis at the age of 36 to go out and actually win Wimbledon without dropping a set. I mean, that's a phenomenal achievement. I think what he's done uh, this whole year, this could potentially be one of his best years in his career. And that's a lot because Roger Federer's standards are actually uh, incredibly high. So, I mean... You know, I think overall it's just been uh, a great Wimbledon. I think pretty much everybody is a Federer fan, so they're happy to see his result. And uh, you know, we're all kind of looking forward to what's next for Roger. Yes, uh, Somdev, I just was reading an interesting stat before the start of the game that Federer, after this, does not defend any more points. Now, he rises to world number three when the rankings are published, but you now have a situation where it's either Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal who will probably end the year as world number one. We all thought that Federer has decided no more world number one, I'm just going to go out there and enjoy myself. But this break which he keeps taking has worked wonders. No, yeah, it's actually, uh, you know, Federer has kind of redefined the game in more ways than one. Obviously, in the way he's played, he's done it, but I think he's also been incredibly creative in the way he's actually gone out and uh, trained. I think he's completely changed the spectrum in that and now also in the way he's kind of recovered from his injury. I think it's the first time, uh, you know, a major tennis player has, has gone out, taken six months off and come back this strong, this fast. And, you know, let's be honest, Roger Federer has lost two matches this year. And one of those has been to Evgeny Donskoy in Dubai and the other has been to his good friend Tommy Haas in, uh, in Halle just a couple of weeks ago. So apart from those two matches, Roger Federer has been perfect. That's something that nobody including Federer or his coaching staff would have, would have imagined. And uh, so what, obviously what he's doing is working. So I think uh, Roger Federer is, you know, needless to say the greatest of all time, but he's redefined the way the game is played in so many ways. I think, Somdev, you used the word perfect, but isn't that the word we use to describe the great Roger Federer? Let's just look at what he's done in this tournament to go through an entire Wimbledon where you had the other, other big names, you know, till one uh, stage you thought that there would be a Nadal, Federer, Djokovic, Murray in the semis. You had all these giant killers coming all over there. And to come through that and to win without dropping a set, you have to go back to the great Borg for someone like a Federer to actually go through Wimbledon without dropping a set. What does that tell you about this man, about this newfound love for the game? Yeah, I think, you know, I think uh, the amazing thing about Roger, if you look through his highlights from 2003 to now, all the way in, uh, to now, uh, you can see that Roger has ch made so many small changes to his game, whether it's, you know, the short and ball toss or s slightly smaller backswing, uh, whether it's, you know, trying to make points a little quicker or trying to make them a little longer on play sometimes. The one thing that's always remained constant about Roger Federer is he's always looking for ways to improve. He's always looking to, you know, push that threshold, find the next new thing in the game and go out and do that. So, I think a lot of the younger players credit a lot of the things that they do today to Roger Federer. And, you know, I think there's no denying that when he came out on the scene the first time, every single person looked at the way he played tennis and said, wow, I love the way he plays tennis. And that still continues in 2018, that magic that he brings, the elegance that he plays the game with, the effortlessness that he plays with, and yet puts in such an incredible effort every single time he plays. So I think what Roger Federer is doing is just nothing short of incredible. One of the greatest sporting achievements of our time. Yes, sir. Somdev, let's just look at what he's achieved. 19 Grand Slams. I remember in 2012 when he won against Murray, they said perhaps this is the end. It was always about, you know, going out there and perhaps getting one more than the 17th Grand Slam. Went and won that 18th Grand Slam at the Australian Open. But just talking about what he did today, simply demolished Marin Cilic, who's way, way younger. You got a feeling when you saw Cilic crying uh, when he took a tumble and had to take that injury time out that this was more mental than actually uh, uh, on, on ground uh, superiority because Federer was simply toying with him. It wasn't exactly a very great game in that first set till Federer got that cross court backhand which got that break and, and from then on it was just that one man was playing, the other man was just trying to play catch up. 
Yeah, I think, uh, you know, let's be honest, I think uh, this is a very different situation for Marin Cilic than it is for Roger Federer. You know, the last time Cilic beat Federer at a Grand Slam was at the US Open when he demolished him. But the, over there, the difference is what's at stake. Over here, it's a Wimbledon Championship at stake. Over there, it's just a semi-final of a slam, which is a big thing. But for Marin Cilic, clearly the situation overwhelmed him quite a bit. So apart from that, I think you also have to think that, you know, he was not at his 100% fitness. He was clearly a little bit injured, which obviously hindered him, especially when he's playing Roger when he's in this kind of mood. So I think, you know, a lot of things kind of went against Cilic. I think, you know, he looked a little nervous. He didn't really find his rhythm. And Federer, uh, a lot of that is credit to Federer because he didn't really allow him to, to play the way he usually does. So I think, you know, overall, fantastic thing by Federer. What Cilic was doing, I think it's a tough day today, but still, we have to remember he had a fantastic tournament. This is the first time he's made a Wimbledon final. I mean, he's a seasoned campaigner and, you know, this is one of his best seasons as well. So, I think a uh, great tournament for Cilic, unfortunate for him in the final, but Roger Federer was just too good. You know, uh, just as we are talking, uh, seeing footage, uh, Somdev, of Federer li lifting the trophy, that trophy that he loves so much, seeing his four kids there with his wife in his box and, and this is the ultimate uh, tribute to Federer. He says, when I, when I step back into my rented apartment in, in Wimbledon, I forget, I play with my kids. This is a much more relaxed Federer and perhaps, you know, once that baggage is off his back, that, you know, I want to be world number one, I want to win this, I want to win that, that has made him uh, re redraw the way he's played his game as well and uh, you know to go past William Renshaw and Pete Sampras that was uh, the perfect seven they called it those seven Wimbledon titles Federer now has eight nobody perhaps can even come close uh, right now the way he's playing it really looks like he's separated himself from the field quite a bit so I mean you know especially when it comes to Wimbledon winning eight Wimbledons it's a crazy accomplishment. I think it's something that we're not going to see for a long, long time. But let's not forget, that's what we said when Sampras won his seventh as well. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, once again, I think, you know, what Roger is doing, uh, as you've mentioned uh, quite a couple, uh, few times in this interview already, I think what he's doing is incredible. I think, uh, you know, the fact that he's gone out there, taken a six-month break, come back once again, and, uh, you know, he's playing definitely, like you said, he's playing with a monkey off his back. Because there's no yes. one, uh, not as much pressure, you know, like you said, he's not really aiming to be world number one again. Uh, it's just kind of things are just kind of happening. You, you see a lot of the way he's playing. It's, uh, there's, a, there's a real uh, flow to everything he's doing. It doesn't look like anything's forced. He's being more aggressive than he's actually ever been in his career. And I think mm. he's willing to take those chances because he's realized maybe it's the end of my career. Let me go out there. Let me have some more fun. Let me be a little bit more creative. Even today, I think you saw... So many drop shots on Chelsea, which is just so creative, things that other people yes. can't think of. So I think Federer, right now, he's playing with more confidence, more uh, ease, more less stress. And I think uh, that's why you're seeing such a free-flowing, top form, uh, uh, great shape, yes. Roger Federer. Absolutely. How can you improve perfection? Well, you simply have to watch the master Roger Federer in action. Somdev Devarman, thank you so much for joining us and uh, you know helping us share this joy of Roger Federer winning his 19th Grand Slam and 8th Wimbledon title.